Welcome to uh, China where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm excited for all those who have subscribed to our China. I'm excited for the comment section. I'm excited that you are responding you are sending encouraging messages to me i appreciate that i appreciate everyone who has subscribed who is commenting who is encouraging us to keep doing this we appreciate you and also i am very glad that we finally finished our online um course so we will be putting out the link at the description so please go get a copy of the course go get a copy of the course it is very very educative so and also i appreciate everyone who has subscribed to this channel and those who are yet to subscribe please click the subscribe button click the subscribe button so we got a lot of questions this week so we'll be taking eight one after the other we have um, a subscriber Mukasa Abdu Wahab Kisika Kisika you said hello Lodu I am Mukasa from Uganda Thank you very much, Mukasa. Please do a tutorial designing a simple story structure using holo section and I beams. This will be much appreciated. Mukasa, this what you are asking for is steel design. Steel design. We will do that, but for now we are handling reinforced concrete design. So we we put out that uh, most time for proto structure um, at times the steel proto steel has does not really function in some of the the proto installed but i'm trying to get another proto that is proto steel is working and when i do we will use that to do this video on eye section and hollow section and angle and every other steel um, uh, element we will be doing that soon so please just keep watching uh china and also subscribe if you are yet to subscribe at the China so that when we put up something like this you can get notified thank you um, Mukasa I appreciate you from Uganda appreciate you very much blessing Kuzo blessing Kuzo Zion Nera Zion Nera you didn't tell us where you are commenting from please if you you do please let us know where you are commenting from you said the day i get this software i will watch all your tutorial blessing i appreciate that thank you very much for this is online you can always get it to download but i really don't know i will search for where you can get it to download and once i do i will put up a video in that respect on how to go about it please keep watching this channel when we do you get notified we have v vj push can push kama push kama from india and i appreciate you i appreciate you say is it mandatory your question is is it mandatory to perform low decomposition by fe regards from indian i appreciate you vj vj um yes it is mandatory because without that your analysis 
will not run it won't run your analysis this is what analyzes your beam your slab and every other um, element in the structure it is very important you can't do without it so if you see this now this is the stories of each this is the analysis this is um, include slab uh, plates in fe model share element size so what what this thing does is um let me let me okay what it does is it takes the slab and breaks it in smaller it breaks it in smaller units normally we have um, two method of analyzing structure we may have this um, heat line method where you just take the heat line the failure line to analyze or you use the f e finite element where it takes each slab in terms of units square units and it analyzes that square so this fa analysis is much more accurate and better so if you can if you don't do that it won't analyze your slab and in design the first thing you do is your slab analysis when your slab has been analyzed it transfers the load from the slab to the beam and after the beam has been analyzed it transfers its load from the beam to the column and after the column is analyzed it transfers its load to the foundation and now the foundation spreads the load to the soil so it is mandatory because if you don't do that you can't move forward you can't move forward i hope i hope it this answers your question so i will say it is mandatory you can't skip that you can't skip that it is very very mandatory so i appreciate you all who are commenting from from um, russia or those parts of the country please if you hear me if you can translate what you are trying to send to me i would really appreciate it so we will stop here so that is very important say every slab load will be transferred to column directly when beams are not connected that is what i've said or in order to transfer f e decomposed load to beam select all beams in the building option when closing the dialog or use the option in right click menu or use the beam load editing editor so it said now it has analyzed our slab immediately we close it it will bring apply to all beams in the story so if you click on this it will only apply the slab load on just this floor but if you say click apply to all beam in the model it automatically transfers the load that it has analyzed from the slab to your beam so we say that we say yes continue so that is the reason why it is very important you can design the first thing you design is your slab so it transfer if you look at the shape of our slab here this is how the slab is being transferred this portion is being transferred to this beam this portion is transferred to this beam this portion is transferred to this beam and this portion again is transferred to this beam this is what that um, thing that we've done 
this load decomposition by F is doing. It transfers the slab load to the beam and from beam to column, from column to foundation. So it is very important. We can't do without that. So if you still have any question, please feel free to let me know. Thank you very much.